Jojo Sai 1012 was a Chinese Instagram user who documented her seemingly idyllic love story on the site. That was until it all ended in a somewhat mysterious tragedy. Let's investigate. If you enjoy internet mysteries and generally disturbing content, feel free to subscribe and turn on notifications for more content like this. If you're interested in supporting the channel, you can become a Kofi member or a channel member and watch uncut videos as well as other perks, or you can leave me a tip by clicking the thanks under this video. Thanks to anyone who considers this. Jojo Sai 1012's first post on Instagram was on the 3rd of November 2013 and was a mirror selfie with the caption, Good morning everyone. The next few posts were more selfies and also photos and videos of various locations presumably in her local area in China, like a casino and a restaurant. Judging by some of these venues, I'm assuming Jojo was quite well off. She seemed to live quite an idyllic life, on the surface at least, and as far as I can tell, never mentioned working. Despite this, a couple of the captions on later posts imply that she wasn't totally happy. For example, next to one photo of her looking somewhat sad, she wrote, I still closed my eyes and cried, and I still pretended not to care. On the 6th of January 2014, Jojo posted a photo of herself with a man in the background, a heart emoji on her chest and another in front of the man, captioned, It's time to miss being in Shenyang. One of the more recent comments reads, So this is where it all started. It's not totally clear if this was when Jojo and her boyfriend first started dating, but it is the first post that suggests that she was in a relationship. Over the next few weeks, more photos and videos were posted of the boyfriend, as well as screenshots of text between the couple where he would call her wife. This is apparently common in China, even when couples aren't married. They often went on fancy dates and seemed to be very much in love, giggling together and being affectionate in both videos and text messages. Jojo would often post candid photos of her boyfriend and shared comments about moments during their time spent together, for example, Last night he fell asleep and suddenly laughed, which startled me and I asked him what was wrong. He said he was dreaming, dreaming of me. They eventually got a kitten, which Jojo referred to as their son and said that he was the fruit of their love. This was part of their Valentine's Day celebrations, which also included a cinema trip, a meal, and other small gifts. Her followers were watching this sweet love story unfold, but of course all stories must come to an end, and this one would end sooner and much more tragically than expected. On the 22nd of February, just over a week after what seemed like the perfect Valentine's Day, Jojo posted a photo of her boyfriend cooking, and the caption translated to, If a liar has to swallow a thousand needles. This would be the first hint that there was trouble in paradise, and the following post would further suggest that something had happened between the couple. It was a photo of her bed, with a caption that translated to, I remember what was said, the songs that were sung, and the promises that were given. It's my fault, it's me too. The next post, on the same day as the last two, was a photo of the kitten captioned, It's hard to accept that. I must not have woken up yet. That's right, I'm sleepwalking. It's all an illusion. The next couple of posts were just as vague, and Jojo said that she didn't understand any of this. Then the next day, a caption would reveal a bit more information, though it's still impossible to piece together exactly what she means. Google translates the caption as, that's just the other day. I said you don't have to buy these to coax me. You are 90 flavors of Glyco for her. Just buy something online for me. He said that Glyco is also bought online. There is a store that specializes in selling a complete set of Glyco. So you don't have to compare these things. I do much more for you than for her. 
Now that I think of it, I don't know what it feels like in my heart. Considerate and considerate. It turns out that it is just a deception. Who is terrible? Am I terrible? Only pitiful. Obviously this isn't a perfect translation, and I have no idea what glyco even is by the way, and some of the comments offered slightly different suggestions, but I think we kinda get the gist. It sounds like there was another woman in the boyfriend's life, and various comments on her post since have stated that he was actually married and he was cheating on his wife with Georgia. Her caption would seemingly support that theory. Jojo admitted previously that she overthinks about the relationship, and reading between the lines it could be surmised that she was a somewhat jealous person, so it's not out of the question that she might just be referring to a female friend that she thought her boyfriend paid more attention to than her. At this point, it's all just speculation without any more information to go off. In a screenshot of a text conversation where they are discussing the possibility of getting married, he says, what if my mother disagrees? Which has led to some speculating that they broke up because his mother didn't approve of the relationship. I don't know if anything else has been revealed that might support that theory, as I came across quite a few comments that confidently stated that that was the reason. It's entirely possible that there was no external cause of the breakup, and perhaps the boyfriend just didn't want to be with her anymore. If that was the case, I suspect that her Instagram post may have contributed to that. In the photos and videos she posted of him, it appeared that he didn't always want to be in them. He often covered his face or tried to obscure the view of the camera, and it appears that many others were taken without his knowledge. For example, there's one of him asleep, and another where he's singing and not looking at the camera. In one of the text conversations shared by Jojo, after she complained that he didn't hug her the night before, and he said it was because he slept out of control, and that it doesn't mean he doesn't love her anymore, he said this. Think for yourself, you really pissed me off last night, what you posted today. Which is perhaps referring to one of her Instagram posts. It would be fair to assume that he might not be comfortable with her sharing their private conversations in the first place, and perhaps that contributed to his reasons for breaking up with her. Regardless of the reason, that was the end of the relationship, and evidently, Jojo was absolutely heartbroken. She even had an app on her phone that tracked the number of days since the breakup. In a post on the 23rd of February, she said that if she continues to struggle with the question of why he lied to her, she will have to end. She was quite critical of herself in a post a few days later, quote, In fact, I don't look as good as in the photos. I'm also very sloppy, lazy, swearing, little citizen nagging, gossip, revenge, poisonous mouth, unforgiving, poor learning, many problems, Watching a lot of things is not pleasing to the eye. Educating others but can't do it themselves. Remembering that one out is one thing. Willful, overthinking, short-tempered, lovely, emotional, irrational, impulsive. I'm so bad. Thank you for loving me now and those who used to love me. It can be surmised that Jojo was quite insecure about her physical appearance too, going off a couple of comments she made, and the fact that she seemingly used filters in almost all of the photos she posted that appeared to have altered her face significantly, apart from one where half of her face can be seen and it looks quite different to the rest. Not worse, in my opinion, but she may have thought otherwise. I can only imagine that the breakup, especially if she found out her boyfriend was cheating on her with someone else, would have made her feel even worse. On the 4th of March, Jojo posted a photo in which she was wearing an eye patch, and in the caption of a video posted later that day, she said that her eyes and her kitten's eyes became inflamed on the same day. It was theorised that her eye had been damaged because she was crying so much, but I don't even know if that's possible. I tried to google it and didn't find any information to suggest that crying can actually seriously damage the eyes, beyond minor swelling and redness, and her other eye looks fine, so I'm guessing she either injured it somehow or got an infection that wasn't related to crying. Jojo continued to live her life as normal, visiting nice bars and restaurants and playing with her cat, but she clearly wasn't even close to being over the breakup, as there were more captions hinting at how depressed she was, and more screenshots of text conversations from when they were still together. 
On the 6th of March, she said this. It's been 12 days since we broke up. I hang out with all kinds of men, eat, watch movies, drink, sing. Anyone is more handsome than him, richer than him. I say this just to show that I can't find a better man than him. Not to mention how handsome and rich I want him to be, how handsome and rich I am. A lot of men with good conditions around me and my friends know well, but I can no longer accept others into my heart. Every time I play to the end, I cry. I force myself to smile. I tell myself, the most important thing to be a person is to be happy. I constantly hypnotize myself, but after all, he couldn't hypnotize his heart. I don't understand, since it is not me who chooses, why give me so many expectations and give me so many promises? Since you don't want to have a baby with me at all, why do you want me to name? He said that if his mother did not agree to us getting married, he would talk to me for a lifetime and get married when we were old, which was really the most romantic love story I had ever heard in my life, but it was also a lie. I can't forget any of this. I can't forget it unless I die. Later that day, she said, Did you know that there is a bird that has no feet? His whole life can only fly around in the sky, sleep in the wind when he is tired, and only land once in his life. That is when he dies. And then, It turned out that all the nightmares I had in those days were real. The things I dreamed about were all really happening, but I was hidden from nothing at the time. Everything was too late. I've never done anything bad in my life. Why let me suffer like this? Living is so hard these days. I want to make myself forget all this. I want to control my emotions and not cry in every late night, but I can't do it. I can't help it. All this is too unfair to me. I can't bear it. The next day, on the 7th of March, an even more chilling caption accompanied a photo of Jojo's lips with her holding a lipstick in the bottom corner, quote, After I die, I will haunt you day and night, and I will never leave you again. Another photo later that day showed Jojo's thighs, with Chinese letters written on one of them in lipstick. I'm not sure what that translates to, but the caption read, Husband, father, my prince, in the next life, you must fulfill your promise to marry me and you must not break your word. A few more photos were posted that day, including one of Jojo and the kitten and one of her now ex-boyfriend, where she said she never thought he'd deceive her. Then came a photo which appeared to show her sat on the rooftop of what I assume was the building she lived in. The final photo she ever posted was of a small fire in her apartment, and she was never heard from again. The abrupt silence after the worrying last few posts would imply that she is no longer alive. It's been nearly nine years since her final post, and to this day, people still comment on her page, many of whom share their condolences, but others aren't so respectful. Some comment on how stupid it was for her to take her own life over a failed relationship. They leave derogatory remarks on her selfies, some of which could be described as quite provocative, perhaps an attempt to get her ex-boyfriend's attention. There are even comments stating that she deserved to die because she wasn't a virgin, which is ridiculous and insensitive regardless, but we don't even know that that is true anyway. There are also countless comments attacking the boyfriend and blaming him for her death. There are a few articles online covering this story, however none provide much information beyond what can be learned from Jojo's Instagram, and interestingly, there doesn't even appear to be any solid proof of her death. An article on the Daily Dot states that she allegedly died, and linked a photo that has since been deleted but can be seen on Wayback Machine, taken from a distance, showing a body face down in a large puddle on a balcony with police officers stood nearby. This photo was posted on the Chinese forum Mot, and the Daily Dot states that the shape of the roof on which the body was found bears some resemblance to the one seen beneath her dangling feet in the second to last photo she posted on Instagram. There does appear to be a balcony of a similar shape in Jojo's photo, but it was taken in the dark and is quite grainy, so honestly it's too hard to make out. I also tried to compare a couple of other photos and clips that show her apartment, but none show the outside of the building, so again, it's impossible to say. 
I did notice that there is one large window next to her bed, and the windows shown in the photo of her alleged body appear to have two panels, which don't look the same. Perhaps her apartment was on the side of the building that can't be seen in that photo though, and those windows might be different. Overall, I wouldn't rule out the possibility that the body in the photo is Jojo, but it alone isn't enough evidence to prove that she actually died. I reverse searched the image and found a total of 22 results, none of which were from before Jojo's alleged death, and all were on sites linking the photo to Jojo. None provided any other evidence of her death though. It seems that they all just took the MOP forum user's word for it. Another user on the MOP forum claimed to be Jojo's neighbour and said this. This is real, we live in the same building. She died Saturday morning. No matter what, how much courage must it have taken for a little girl to Hope she will find peace in the afterlife. Of course, there is no way to verify this comment. Anyone can say anything on the internet, and there seems to be nothing but hearsay to inform us of what happened here. I also came across an Instagram account under the name jojosai 1012 rip which provides various screenshots from Weibo, a Chinese social media site that Jojo used as well as Instagram. Her account was deleted around the time of her death, and there aren't many screenshots of her profile itself. There is one of a memorial post, which includes her supposed real name, though I can't verify that and wasn't able to find any more articles or an obituary by searching that name. Interestingly, there are screenshots of Jojo's boyfriend's Weibo profile under the name Kimmy and his alleged other girlfriend, Nika, who states that they broke up on the 22nd of February 2014, which I believe is the exact day he broke up with Jojo. While I have no reason to believe these screenshots are fake, they only appear on this Instagram account, so perhaps take them with a pinch of salt. Anyway, similar to Jojo, Nico talks about how her and Kimmy spoke of getting married, and she clearly feels deceived and betrayed by his actions. Nico shared texts between them where she asks him to spend Valentine's Day with her, and he says he has an exam that day, which we know wasn't true, as he actually spent that day with Jojo. Nico also said in hindsight she should have been suspicious when Kimmy deleted Weibo and refused to let her take photos of him, which all but confirms that he was also hiding his face in Jojo's photos because he didn't want his other girlfriend to see them. Kimmy responded to the harassment he was receiving as a result of the situation. Is the truth important to you? I've accepted the infamy of being a scumbag. Those who want to curse or criticise can send private messages at any time. I accept it humbly, but please don't harass anyone anymore. Everything is my fault. Feelings that heat up quickly may not be good, just like a torment that only floats on the surface. The waves are turbulent and pass quickly. The long-term relationship may be like a stream, calm and stretching, flowing slowly, and will leave a deep imprint under each stream stone. Interestingly, neither Kimmy or Nico mentioned Jojo's death, which seems kinda off. Both their posts make sense if the situation was simply that Nico found out Kimmy was seeing another woman, and both relationships ended, and that's an awful situation in itself, but how can they both totally ignore the elephant in the room that someone allegedly died as a result of this? I'm not necessarily trying to push some kind of narrative here that Jojo must have faked her own death or something, I just find the lack of evidence of it to be really strange. All the articles about the incident refer to it as alleged, or specifically state that they weren't able to verify the death. It's also interesting that although Jojo posted very frequently on Instagram, this was only for a period of four months until her alleged death, and most of the posts are from the end of February until her last post on the 7th of March. The time frame just seems a little convenient, that out of nowhere she'd start posting, often multiple times a day, then within four months she dies, though of course this proves nothing. It's worth remembering that her last post was a photo of items on fire, not the photo of her sat on the rooftop or windowsill looking down with her feet dangling. 
I also suspect that some of her Instagram photos have been deleted since then, as I've found a few posted online that are no longer on the page. It's possible that they were on her Weibo account, but she only became known after her alleged death, so I'm not sure why people would have saved photos from any of her profiles prior to that. If Jojo didn't actually die, she could have intentionally faked her death online for a number of reasons. Perhaps she wanted revenge on Kimmy for cheating on her and breaking up with her, or maybe she just wanted to create an internet mystery. Or maybe she didn't mean to fake her death per se, but wanted to worry Kimmy with her final purse, then decided to stop posting to leave the story on a cliffhanger, or simply to leave that chapter of her life behind and move on. She didn't outright state that she was going to take her own life, even though she heavily insinuated that she might. If that was the case, you'd hope that she would clarify that she is still alive, as there are countless people who were worried about her and even grieved to some extent. I searched online extensively, hoping to find any of Jojo's other social media accounts, and all I came across was another Instagram page that could be her. I'm not going to share the exact name because I'm honestly not sure if it is her, and if it isn't, I don't want anyone who has nothing to do with this to be dragged into it. This user also posts under a variation of the name Jojo Scyther, and looks similar enough to Jojo that I could buy it being her, considering her photos were heavily edited on her original page. This person was posting as recently as October 2022, so if, and that is a big if, it is Jojo, that would confirm that she is still alive. However, I have no way of verifying the link. In addition to the physical resemblance, I just noticed a couple of coincidences that could support the theory. For example, a photo that was posted in May 2014, which appears to show a kitten's paws through a cat box. The kitten is grey, like Jojo's, and the timing of this photo would roughly line up with when Jojo said her kitten would be ready to take home. However, there are other details that would suggest against this being Jojo. For example, it seems that this user lives in Taiwan, judging by a postcard that she shared on her page, unless she was just temporarily staying elsewhere, but Jojo appeared to be living in Shanghai. Overall, it's impossible to say for sure what happened here, and I don't mean any disrespect when questioning the widely accepted story that Jojo did in fact choose to die, but the odd details mentioned in this video do make me wonder if that was the case. It's surprising to me that this case was not covered by more reputable sources. An 18-year-old girl tragically dying after finding out her boyfriend was in another relationship, or even married as some suggest, and documenting her final days on Instagram is a story that you'd expect the media to jump on. Granted, this allegedly happened in China, so perhaps it was reported on more there, but as I said, none of the news sites that I could find were able to verify her death at all. If anyone else can find any more information on this, please let me know in the comments. According to some of the comments on the Jojo Sai 1012 RIP Instagram account, Nico and Kimmy got back together and are now living in Australia. I don't know if that's true or just another rumour. Either way, if Jojo really is no longer alive, I truly hope that she rests in peace. I'd be interested to hear your thoughts and theories in the comments, plus any other internet mysteries or stories you'd like me to cover. If you enjoyed the video, please consider liking and subscribing, and leaving me a tip by clicking the thanks under this video. Huge thank you to my Kofi members and channel members whose names are on screen now, I really appreciate your support. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Thursday in a new video.